Hi everyone, welcome to Texticles and I just want to do a quick video about how do you install the 4G LTE module and also an SSD onto the GPT WinMax 27840U but also applies to any other WinMax 2 uh, laptop consoles. So check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, thanks. Uh, I'll do a quick intro about how you do this with the GPT WinMax 2 to be able to install the actual 4G LTE module uh, into it. And also while I'm here, I might as well install the SSD 2230. And I have a two terabyte here that I'm gonna install to expand the storage of the WinMax 2. So first things first is obviously you're going to have to open the case to install the 4G LTE module and there are the screws here, 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 here and here. So there's four screws that you're going to have to remove here. And after you've removed that final screw, you need to remove these two screws, which is the 4G module and the SSD uh, slot itself. So now we have the back piece of the actual uh, WinMax 2. This is where you will be installing the 4G LTE module uh, to the back itself. So you'll see that there are three screws that you'd want to align it to. So make sure you look at the module, I'll put it in the correct place. So the next step that you'll really need to do here once you have all of that ready is obviously sticking on the antennas um, here's one of the false antenna that you need to stick at the back of the case and hook up to the actual module there so I'd recommend you stick it uh, just under there and align it false with the screw before you actually stick it to the back of the actual case <laughs> So once you've stuck that false antenna, uh, you now just want to grab your second antenna and this is what it looks like. And you'll see here where to place it on the actual case. So now we've stuck on both antennas, what you want to do now is just ensure that you screw on this module so obviously it doesn't fall out of place and so you can actually connect those antenna to the actual module and I'll show you in a bit how that is also done. So 
once you've done screwing that all on, you need to make sure that you're going to hook the antennas to those two spots there. So once the antennas are hooked up, just clean up a bit, get the main unit again, and just see if you have access to the power ribbon cable plug. Uh, if not, you just need to move it a bit so you, you'll be able to access it and I'll show you where it's located. So this is where it's located. Uh, it just easily clips in. So you just gently push it in until you hear a click. And once that's kind of secure, you're going to be obviously putting it on the other end as well. Once that's clipped on, use tweezers or something to put it through the slot at the back of the Winmax 2 case. And there's another clip here that you just want to make sure that it's plugged into so that there's power generating to the 4G LTE module. And just clip that on. And that's how easy it is to install the 4G LTE module for the GPT WinMax 2. So now I'll probably get into the next steps of installing the SSD 2230 and it's probably the most simple thing that you need to do is obviously slot it in there and of course make sure it latches in then you close the case which also houses it and makes sure it stays safe for extended expansion simple so now we've installed the 4g lte module and also the ssd it's just time to insert a micro sim into that module that will allow you to have 4g internet um, with your GPT WinMax 2 7840U. So if you like this video of it, please like, subscribe and comment so I can do other videos similar to this. Uh, and stay tuned, as mentioned, I will do a full review shortly of the actual GPT WinMax 2 7840U. Um, and watch out for that to come out. Thanks.